So you want to sit comfortably in a chair with the feet flat on the ground. And you want another chair where you can rest your arm. And it has to be lower than your shoulder. If you've got a high chair, that's not good. We're going to start with the up, upper side of the arm. This is the yin side of the arm. The outside of the arm is the yang side of the arm. The yin meridians are like the inside of a turtle. The inner soft part of our body is yin. The hard shell of the turtle are the yang meridians, the power meridians that help us. The yin is the sensitive, the yang are the power ones. So we're going to start with the first yin meridian, lung meridian, that goes from the chest to the thumb. So just brush, think of three meridians along the inside of the arm. The one closest, top of the thumb, is the lung. So just brush. And the reason we relax the arm is that chi flows through relaxation. If you are tight like this, you're going to have no chi flow. So you want to relax and exhale. Down and out the thumb. Turn the arm over and we're going to inhale from the index finger, large intestine, up and do the same movement that we did last week. You're inhaling by pushing the belly out to create space for the light to appear. So don't inhale large intestine up to the head. It naturally wants to go there, but bring it by inhaling like we did. Push your belly out. Get that coffee cup on the belly. Inhale. And you feel it. The breath goes down in the dantian while the meridian brush goes up to the side of the nose. When you press the side of the nose, visualize this point dropping into the belly. So we're going to do that again just to kind of figure out what I'm talking about. So yin, lung. Exhale, out the thumb. Switch over. Large intestine, push the belly out. Inhale. Belly is out as you touch the side of the nose and it drops down into the dantian. This is the two meridians of the metal element. Other arm. Exhale. Out the thumb. Send into your aura. The lung, switch over large intestine and push the belly to bring the air. Inhale, drop the large intestine into the belly as you brush up to the side of the nose and feel the quiet talk. There's a moment you touch this point on the nose. It's right here. It drops down into the dantian. Now from the large intestine nearby is the beginning of the stomach meridian, middle of eyes, cheekbones. It's actually the TEP points that we did when we came down eyebrow, cheekbone. So under the middle of the eye in the cheekbone is the beginning of the stomach meridian. Stomach meridian goes to the side of the mouth, down to here where when we get old, we start to drop. Our earth starts to drop. Then down, breast. 
Then we do a funny, we go down in the groin and we turn outward to the outside of the leg. So take a chair to, to finish and brush the horse. So when you're brushing the horse, you're brushing, can you see, the outside of the leg down to the outside of the shin bone and exhale on a to the toe next to the big toe. So that's stomach, send it out into the earth and then rotate monkey feet open and you're gonna inhale the spleen, the yin meridian and as you inhale, make sure the belly receives the inhale, the breath by pushing it out because we're going to go up and it tickles inside of the thigh and we're going to rise above the heart. And every time we rise above the heart, we tend to go out of our bodies. Don't. We want to always be in our Dantian. So the spleen, the yin, is going to take light and shoot us up into our brain and into the sky. So to prevent that, hold with your other hand the belly and take each brush of the spleen, all of that good spleen sparkle and put it in the dantian. Push the belly, even though you are passing on the inside of the nipple, and you cross over to that spleen 21 of TEP. And exhale. So there's a nice warm feeling in the Dantian from all of this earth activity. Other side, stomach. Nipple inside groin, then cross over, outside leg, brush the horse. Outside shin. If you get, feel like there's no juice, it's not moving, you can bang the shin or rub more vigorously. And then between big toe and next toe, Ooh, down, Ooh, you can gnome, Ooh, feel the silence, then monkey toe open inside spleen and concentrate on the belly. Every time you brush starlight from the spleen, she's full of ideas, put it in the Dantian, the place of manifestation. And then push the belly as we rise above the heart and over to spleen 21. Exhale. Feel the silence of the earth. Good. Hand over our head. We can sit back down in the chair. Armpit. Put the hand resting on the top of the head, and we're doing the heart meridian, which goes to the little finger. So you rest like you're taking a shower, and we're exhaling. And I like to actually do a stretch. I pull my little finger. Then I'm going to be on my chair. Yang, little finger, outside of the, the arm. And again, we are above the heart, so we have to concentrate on opening, pushing the belly to create breath down in the belly. We don't want to go up in our heads. So inhale, inhale, push, inhale. And rest a little bit on the shoulder 
And just for those of you that have worked with your wings, telepathically open that wing. There's a big old wing that we're going to be working with once we get to musical spine. But we're near the ascension point because the small intestine goes into the scapula. So it zigzags on, in our shoulder blade. And it's hard to reach those points by ourselves. So you touch and orically, telepathically, you're opening the scapula. We'll have other ways to open. And then, so you don't fly away, you come up to the ear and you exhale again into the belly. And it grounds the wings. You touch here, huh, and you're grounding. Other side, heart. Pull the little finger, a nice stretch. If you ever feel heart racing, high blood pressure, you do this to relax the heart. Then hand on the chair and we're inhaling small intestine. Open the belly. Feel the wing. Just you know, send a wing, an a big invisible wing up there, and then come up to the side of the ear. So if you press both sides, feel the small intestine grounding in the dantian. It's really important whenever we move with chi, there is a movement and an exhale. And a movement. And the exhale is what grounds us back inside our physical bodies. Otherwise, we fly away. And then we get all sorts of physical issues as we get older because we're so out of our bodies. So we've landed here, the sides of our ears, small intestine, which is fire. And in order to not, if you guys are still in your head, you touch here and you're going to go up because it's fire, which is why you need the fire to come down in the belly. Then we go to a nearby meridian, which is the bladder. We go from fire to water inside of the eyebrows. And you can, there's two of them. Both sides of the head. We're going to do one at a time. So on one side of the spine, feel the spinous erectus muscles. It's tight or not. And then you come down the bottom, the back of the leg, the hamstrings that are really tight. Put your leg on the chair. And I actually like to do this. I will sit and I will do this because I'm a Taiyang, so I need extra um, stretching always, 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 always in this meridian, my bladder meridian. And as I'm banging away, my concentration is sending energy out around the ankle to the little toe and beyond. Never just be satisfied with what you're physically doing in one spot. Don't just bang away. Send the river of the bladder meridian out the leg. If you can't do this, you can do it flat. But I like the extra stretch. Now watch. I, I pull. I. Massage, massage, massage. Send little toe. And again, that moment of consciousness, it's way beyond me. 
because we have auric meridians outside of the physical, of course, which is why if you have amputees, they have meridians that are still there, that are in the aura. Remember, all sickness, all health starts in the aura. So even though we're working with the physical shoe points, we are mirroring what is happening in the body with what is happening outside. So then the, the yin, the kidney, is the bottom of the foot. I'm gonna, monk, I'm gonna open my foot and I'm inhaling. And the water meridian kidney inside of the ankle, I'm trying to find the best angle for you guys. It all looks white to me. I should have had different color socks or something. So there's a nice soft spot underneath the ankle bone just Gently massage that, and as you're painting up to the inside of the leg, open the dantian to receive the water. This is the water element. So just pour it all in to your dantian. Now it goes to the dantian, and we have to rise it, the water, up to kidney 27. So if you have your shoulder the collarbone, the clavicle, and then the sternum is a little hole on each side. I'm so white. I should have done a dot or something. Just feel the, the, the um, clavicle go under it and then walk your fingers to where it's hard and you can't go in any farther. It's kind of like that. And that's kidney 27. And if you press that, you want to go out of your body. Don't press because it's a transmutation point of dark to light, transforming the negative of water into light. So as you press these, press down here. And then that is delicious. You have earth sky happening at the same time. So we do the other bladder, eyebrows, back of the spine, on the side of the spine, under the bottom, get your chair. And as you're banging away, visualize out the leg, water. You can look, use your eyes. So that the more you visualize in the aura, the more easy the, it is for the muscles to relax. Around the outside of the ankle, little toe. Connect third eye with little toe, Ta! an arrow. Then inside, paint up the yin to that beautiful lake by the, little, by the ankle and start opening the belly. Inhale, inhale, inhale. And then we're gonna go up to that transformation point, keep concentration on the belly and inhale, press both of them. And see if you're really down, grooted, a new word, grooted, grounded, rooted in our Dantian, grooted. <laughs> so that we're not dwing. So we are finished with water. Then we're gonna go to second fire, pericardium, which is heading toward the laugan, the middle of the inside of the arm. So you're sitting in your chair, palm up. Exhaling, down the middle finger. 
Use your eyes, send farther away. Then uh, the triple warmer, the yang, comes up the ring finger. So get the ring real excited. It's a fire point and we're going to be above the heart. So you want to push down in the belly and we're heading toward the end of the eyebrow. So uh, ring finger, inhale, push the belly because it's fire. Get excited. Go down. You see my, my, my feet start. <laughs> I'm excited. Up we go and touch the side of the, the eyebrow. You want to be up in your head. Push the belly. That's a hard one. Mm. Other one? I can't exactly say I grounded on that one. Exhale. Kss. Middle finger. Kss. Flip over, ring finger. Push, 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 push. Mm. Fire in the belly. Volcano in the belly. Try pressing both sides of the eyebrows and push down. Good, 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 good. Because now is my favorite. We go to the wood element, which is just crazy. You go, wait, wait, wait. You go, I want to go this way. No, I'm going to go this way. I want to go this way. I want to go this way. The, the wood constantly changes her mind. So this is gallbladder. So we'll do one, do the, both sides of the head. It's so much fun. Tweet, 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 tweet. And then you go to the side of the body and it's the same thing. It's like, there's a lot of back and forth. Hips, very interesting point there. Then we're going to brush the horse. We did the stomach, which is up above. Now we're doing the very side of the leg. And you can bang and brush as you're This is springtime. This one should be very active. And you want to release on this. There's a hip point there that gets really nasty as we get older. There's arthritis there because it's the wood. It's the tightening of the wood. Between the fifth and the fourth toe, let it go. Now we're doing the elf toes. We're doing the big toe up inside of the leg. So now you see there's three meridians inside the leg. There is the one closest to the shin, spleen. We did that. Uh, the one farthest in the back is kidney. We did that. And the third one in the middle is the liver. So you come up to the side of the knee. Start pushing because we're going to go right below the nipple in the rib cage. So we don't actually go above the heart. And exhale. Then the other side, dweet, 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 which always scrambles our brain. That's the idea. Scramble, scramble, scramble. Get up on your chair. Brush the side of the horse. To the, between the fifth and the fourth toe, quack, quack, spread your Toes like a duck, and out we go. Then elf toe, like you're putting on your ballet slippers, the big toenail up the inside, and brush it, all that creativity, into the dantian, and then right below the nipple. Exhale. And that's the 12. And then you do it again. So we start long. Kss. 
large intestine, middle uh, index finger, inhale, up to the nose, push the belly. Other side, exhale, out the thumb, index, inhale, push the belly. Both sides of the nose, exhale. Stomach, both sides of the eyes, down. We can do both at the same time. Feel the earth inside the belly. Then open to the outside of the leg. Brush the horse. Bring the brush down to between, uh, to the second toe, big toe, the next toe. Open the monkey feet, spleen, inside of the shin, bring it into the belly, and then up past the belly, but keep the, the breath down here around the breast into spleen 21. That's the TEP point. As you exhale, drop it into the belly. Other stomach. So nipple. Outside of the leg, brush the horse. Between the big, the second toe, the big, this big toe, then the second toe out. Open, brush inside into the belly. Inhale, inhale, feel the light, feel the belly and then come up inside around the breast to spleen 21. You can take both sides. Then we go to the heart. Exhale. Make sure when you're massaging, you're making everything flowing in there. Then small intestine. Open the belly, because this is fire. Up, open the wing, push the belly, and up to the side of the ear. Other heart. Oh, nice stretch. Then small intestine. Inhale. Wing. Open the wing. Up to the side of the ear. Both ears. And you're very alert in the brain to press these points because it's fire. But be in your hara. Then we go to the bladder. Eyebrows, water, down both sides, go down to the knobbies of the back, then choose a leg, oops, I want to do it this way. Look where you're heading. Outside of the ankle, little toe and beyond. Then open, yin, kidney, bottom of the foot, inhale. 
It's coming into the cauldron. Feel the beautiful, wise stillness of the water. And then we're going to rise up to that transformation point. Keep down in the belly. Feel earth sky. You should feel a stretch because this point wants to go up. Go half up, half up, half down. Good, 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 good. Other. Bladder. Back of the bottom. Get your foot on the chair. Oh, nice stretch. Point beyond, then kidney inside of the foot. Drop it. Back of the knee, into the belly. Feel the silence. Then up to the fire point. Earth sky. Good. Pericardium. Fire again. Middle finger. Palm of the hand. Open. You guys are getting spaced out. Ring finger. Push the belly. <laughs> Up to the eyebrow. Again, it's fire, but go down. Pericardium. Middle finger. Triple warmer, ring finger, push down all that fire in the belly. You come up to the eyebrows. Now we're ready for the gallbladder. You can just give yourself a nice massage, shampoo. Choose one leg, brush the horse. down to the, between the little toe and the next toe, spread your, your toes like a duck, quack, 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 quack. out we go, and then elf toe, like tying on a ballet slipper up the inside of the leg, into the belly, and up below the nipple, other side. Tweet, 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 tweet. Brush the outside of the leg. Make like a duck. Open those toes between the fifth and the fourth. And then pull on the ballet slipper, elf toe, big toe, up, inside. Gentle to below the nipple and 